Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. James here from dragonblogger.com. I apologize if you guys can't see my face. That's because I'm going to actually do, walk you guys how to put together the and a seat pretty pink gaming chair. Now, this should be pretty simple. You can pick this chair up on Amazon for about $330. I'll leave the link in the bottom. If you guys seen the um, unboxing I did, you guys will know what this consists of. It consists of the base, the backrest, a couple pillows, the, um, the actual base that the casters sit in, a shock, shock covers, and a couple little other pieces. It does come with the Allen wrench. I'm going to use the Allen wrench. Usually I'll use power tools. But to start this off, they say to put the back onto the base. Now you will have to go to each side of the ba the back. If I can turn this around for you guys. Right down here, there is a couple screws on each side. You're gonna need these. This is why I usually use power tools. That makes it a lot quicker. As you can see, some of these are in pretty, a little, little snug. Well, we lost the washer. Don't think that washer was supposed to come off, but it did. That one came off too, so we'll just go with it. Now there is four of these bolts, so there's two on each side. They should be hand loose, so you shouldn't actually need the tool yet. As you guys can see, this will be pretty much in real time. There may be some skips or stuff, but then you set this down like this and you'll match it up. I'm going to do the side you guys can't see first. There's that side. Now I'll try to zoom this in for you guys some and move it over a little. I hope you guys can see this. Sorry about the camera movement, but pretty much take the screw, stick it in the hole if it's matched up, which I think I pretty much matched it up some. So. The other hole. And then pretty much snug it in nice and tight. That way you don't have to come back and retighten them later. Hope you guys can see this. Guess that one wasn't snug enough. That's all that is. Now I'm gonna switch views for you in a second or I'll grab another piece. Okay, before I switch views, I forgot. You actually have little covers that cover these bolt holes. It's, you know, most chairs, they just snap on like this. And, and a seat has thought about it. They actually put a bolt in it. This way it doesn't pop off. Some other chairs do pop off. I apologize if I'm walking through a little. But I want to show you guys how it goes on. Just one little screw. Screws on. You know, make sure it's snug, but don't over snug this one because you might crack the plastic cover. And 
and there's that. The cover is on and it covers the bolts. Your bolts won't show again. Now I'm going to switch views. I'm going to show you guys how to put the base on and then we'll show you how to put the shock and the, the casters in the other base piece. Okay, now that you have it flipped over, you're going to need to take off these four bolts. You're going to actually need these. without trying to drop and lose them. As you can see, they're, they're snug. So, getting them off should be rather easy. Then you're gonna wanna take to the base, the bracket piece, now it does say front, and since I have the chair laying like this, this is the front where the white stripe is. So we're going to turn it like this, and then we're going to set one screw in each hole. Now I'm not going to bother with you guys seeing how boring it is to tighten it up. Uh, when I come back, I'll show you guys how to do the, the other base. Okay, now that you have the five casters in the metal uh, base, you're going to want to flip it over. Each caster, you just find the hole with the, the metal palm. Pretty much, it just sits in. These sit in rather loose, which is nice. That means once you sit on it, it's going to snug in. Just go around all of them, and there you go. There's all five casters. You flip it back over, and that's the casters. Now for the shock, this is the shock. Set the shock down, just in it. Don't forget to put this on, because without this, it sometimes looks kind of stupid. So that's that. Okay, now that you see I have the base and the chair sitting here, this is the hole we're going to have to go into onto that shock. Sometimes you're probably going to wish you had two people to do this, but I'm going to show you guys a different way of doing this. Line it up like this, and then tip it over, and then that's how that sits. You will need to sit on it like that and the shock will be seated in. So that is how you set the base on the chair. Okay, now that I'm going to walk you through how to set these cushions on, the headrest one you want to do last, the lumbar one is the one you're going to want to do. You're going to actually want to unclip the clips. You're going to try and slide these clips through the bottom and out the back. Might be a little snug, but it'll fit. Pull it down, pull it down. Now these will actually come up through this white piece on both sides. I'm going to pull it through, turn it around. As you can see, these are elastic. You snug the elastic up, and that is how you put that cushion on, while trying not to snap your hands in the elastic. Once that's on, you adjust it to where you want this set. I'm just gonna leave it as it is, probably down about there. And now the top one, same thing, it's elastic. This one's a little more easier. Go like this, through each side. Turn it around. And clip. And as you can see, that's how you put the cushions on. The chairs together, 
Now you have several adjustments on this chair, like the armrest goes up, down, swivels in and out, nice touch. Same with the other side, up, down, in and out. If you sit in the chair, you know, you have, let's see where the bar is, that, that's supposed to rock, but it's pretty stiff. I mean, it does rock. I'd say about a little ways. I don't know if I'll use the rocking. You also have this. Should be able to lay all the way back. And back up. And like I said, you have adjustments. Now, I'm a little big for this. This is actually for, it's gonna be for my wife and my kid. So I'll get some pictures of that for them in this. Uh, I thank you for checking out my walkthrough of how to put together the ANSI and a seat pretty in pink gaming chair. And uh, keep your eyes out for the written review and some more on this chair as we go. And uh, thank you. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product.